We're over at the west drain portion of the Crater Diamond State Park. All that plowed field there washes down this drain. Look how this is solid lamperite. Let, let me set up and show you here in just a second. Stick with me. So, <clears throat> this is hard pan. All you gold miners are looking for hard pan. That is hard. It doesn't. You, <laughs> diamonds that are washing aren't going to wash any deeper than this because you're at hard pan rock bottom. So you could scrape this off, and like somebody did here, there's a little little pocket in here. You could dig all that and wash it. So people have been scraping in here. We got uh, two and three quarter inches of rain recently, and you could come through here and clean this off because this is hard and uh, diamonds aren't going to go any deeper than that. They can't. So let's go on down here and look a little more. Follow this same logic. Follow the same path and see what we can find. So use your gold mining knowledge here and just think of these traps. So you've got this drain and you've got all these wonderful traps. The Crater of Diamonds used a bulldozer and pushed these big chunks of indurated sandstone in here. And indurated just means hardened sandstone. It was superheated and cooked with the volcano and it was made hard and they pushed them off of the search field and into this ditch so it wouldn't all erode away. But this is a great trap to dig behind this, under it, all around it. And there's more traps. If a diamond washed around that, it could be caught here. So these are great traps to clean out. So I would say if you're going to dig and wash, follow this ditch and clean out all the traps. There's a lot of boulders and rocks. You could pick that rock up and just clean all the gravel out from under it. So all of this looks really good. Um, gold is denser than other rocks and minerals well diamonds are denser too and that means they will drop to the bottom they're not nearly as dense as gold they're a 3.52 but in other words three and a half times denser than the same amount of water we're in the west drain and this sure looks different than the last time i was here the the drain was more to our right probably about 10 or 12 feet they bulldozed in here and we have a new path for the west drain. The good thing about that is when it rains real hard, then it washes different material. And really you can let nature do the, do the washing for you. You don't have to dig and wash everything. Uh, this is a good place to surface search in here because it was all, like I say, bulldozed and plowed in here recently. And then we got two and three quarter inches of rain. So there could be diamonds where the water is running, or there could be diamonds sitting up here that uh, the rain washed dirt away from it and left it sitting exposed. Here's some more hard pan. A diamond won't be deeper than the hard pan, so you could follow that and maybe it'll drop into a hole here and you could clean the hole out and it'd be a natural diamond trap. So. Uh, all this looks pretty good in the West Drain. It just looks a whole lot different from the last time I came to the West Drain. This is also hard pan. It's a different color. This green looks different from the blue, but I promise you that is rock hard. There's some black with gravel sitting right on top of that. It might be good. And then all this gravel would be good. Anyhow, there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of work that could be done in the West Drain. I'm really an East Drain kind of a guy, but a lot of people have gone to the East Drain and cleaned it out. But the West Drain looks like a good place to come now. Um, Bob Wheatley found a five and a half carat sunshine diamond over here, 5.47. And he said he was digging out and found like a bowling ball size pocket in the hard pan and he cleaned that bowling ball size pocket out and that was a 
holding a 5.47 karat gorgeous yellow, the Sunshine Diamond. So this is the West Drain. When you come to the crater, come here and uh, get you some gravel and wash it. It's not far to the South Wash Pavilion from here.